What would it take to make an honest attempt at lunar colonization? This is from Stephen Kellett. Well, let's be real. To send a pound of anything into orbit, mm -hmm. this orbit costs $10,000 a pound. That is your weight in gold. Mm -hmm. Think of your weight in gold, solid gold, and then that's what it costs <laughs> to put you in orbit. To go to the moon would cost perhaps $100,000 a pound. Yeah. To go to Mars would cost about a million dollars a pound. Imagine your body weight in diamonds. That's what it would cost to put you on the planet Mars. Right. Now, by 2020, we're going to have a traffic jam on the moon. The Chinese have announced that yeah. they're going to go to the moon. In fact, they will probably beat the United States. NASA last year admitted that their time frame is behind the Chinese time frame. And the Chinese are doing really well so far with their, with their orbiters and getting right. up there. And can there. you imagine all these nations putting flags in the moon yeah. and bumping into each other? I mean, <laughs> me, me. <laughs> Driving around in your little lunar rovers. Me, me. Right. <laughs> so you have to realize that it's very expensive. And look, when Columbus sailed the ocean blue, that's what most people say, he found riches and wealth in the new world. Yeah, because it didn't cost that much. Queen Isabella's a bracelet, apparently, funded uh, Columbus's voyage to the New World. And almost immediately they found the gold, the gold of Montezuma. Mm -hmm. uh, tobacco was a, tr a cash crop. The moon has no gold. The moon right. has no air. The moon has no, <laughs> moon has no water. Mm -hmm. Maybe helium-3 for our fusion machines. Mm -hmm. So I think space colonization, even though I'm all for it, mm -hmm. is going to be longer term than we thought. Because, right. well, first of all, we have to leave the Earth. The Earth in five billion years will be destroyed. That's mm -hmm. a law of physics. Mm -hmm. We will have one day, the last nice day on the Earth. The oceans will boil, the mountains will melt, yeah. and we're going to go back into the sun when the sun becomes a red giant. When it starts expanding. That's yes. right. And on a scale of 50 million years, another dinosaur-killing comet or asteroid will hit the Earth. Mm -hmm. On a scale of 10,000 years, we're going to be under a half a mile of ice. 10,000 years ago, we were under half a mile of ice. It's going to happen again in 10,000 years. Mm -hmm. So we have to leave the Earth at some point. As Carl Sagan once said, we have to be a two-planet species. An insurance policy. Two-planet species. Mm -hmm. But he also said, what's the rush? <laughs> <laughs> It costs a lot of money to put men on Mars. It does and, and cost a lot of money. Right. It, so it's a technological and a monetary. I say let's do it with robots. Uh, let's have a permanent robot presence on Mars right. and, and the moon. And then when prices go down, we can then start to put humans up there. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, a space elevator could bring down the cost of space travel by a factor of 100. Right. If there, if there are also minerals on the moon that could be mined, maybe robots could go and mine for materials that could be used then but yeah. to build things but and to take us But it's easier to simply go to your backyard and mine things. Yeah. <laughs> <It's still cheaper. laughs> it is.